Yo, it's your boy Straight Boss so we eight from Straight Smoke Gaming. We got a short little video here for you today. I want to talk about selling your bunker solo. Now, hopefully, you didn't have any issues this week with getting your bunker sold like I do here in this clip. Uh, this happened Friday, right shortly after the new week started for you to make double money on the bunker. And I ran into this issue, and this was all day Friday. This just not, this was not just this lobby or anything like that. I went into three different lobbies and had the issue. So hopefully, that didn't happen to you guys, and hopefully, it didn't last more than only one day. Uh, but anyway, I want to talk about selling solo for the bunker and its perks of it, and potentially how to avoid bunker raids. Now, you're going to want to buy supplies, provided you have those upgrades. Go ahead and buy supplies. It's just much easier, much more effective, time-saving. If you, if you don't have the upgrades, do not buy supplies. It is just not worth it for you. And you see there the double money. Now, uh, on YouTube, there's a ton of videos saying this is how you sell solo, and I get that. This video is not quite like that. I'm giving you my reasons on why you should sell solo. Now granted, the one bar of supplies gives you one vehicle. Pretty much everyone knows that. I get that. What you might not know is the perks of it. Um, now I, I pretty much only sell in lobbies, fr uh, friendly lobbies, either that or really chill lobbies that are low uh, populated. No, that means four to five or six. And normally I have four people selling my bunker with me. That means I'm getting a, a very minimal bonus. A bonus of one person or sometimes a bonus of no one because I have the entire lobby, all my friends helping me sell my bunker for the dreadful four dude buggy sale where you need four people. Now, this strategy of just one full bar of supplies give you one vehicle drops it down to you're only going to get one vehicle so that you can sell all by yourself you don't need to count on anyone you don't have to ask for any help now with that being said you're going to get a bonus of all the people in your lobby now in this particular cell i only had one other friend in my lobby but i normally have three to four sometimes up to five or six now granted you're thinking okay that's not a huge bonus but you know what, when you're selling your bunker two or three times a day, because you can sell your bunker much quicker because you only have to wait the two hours, 20 minutes for it to make product rather than waiting the six to eight hours or what the hell it is to sell a full bunker, you add those bonuses up, you know, and it adds up, especially if you're buying supplies. So any type of bonus when you're buying supplies is great. Now, on top of that, that's the perk of uh, selling solo, is the added bonus. You don't have to ask people for help. You don't have to count on anyone for help. You can do this solo. But here's what I've came across, and I've wanted to do this video for a while, but I wanted to test it, because I'm a firm believer that selling solo is the way to go for the bunker. And I've been doing this for about a month and a half now. I have yet to get a bunker raid. Not once have, has my bunker been raided. Now last week, I was a CEO and playing GTA for a very long time. I filled up over seven and a half warehouses for the CEO crates. So I had a ton of time. My MC businesses have gotten raided a ton this week because of how much I played last week. And I know bunker raids are much less frequent, but they do still occur. And as much as I played last week, my bunker should have been raided several times last week. It should have been raided at least once this week, and it wasn't. So I, I'm a firm believer that keeping your product bar at one full, full bar of supplies is how you avoid the bunker bunker raids. Uh, go ahead and drop a comment if you agree with this, or if you're still getting raided after one full bar of supplies turning to product. But I... I think this is how you avoid the bunker raids, guys. No one likes that Valkyrie raid where you have to silently take out the guys. As soon as they spot you, they take the Valkyrie and you lose half your product. So avoid those bunker raids, guys. And check back tomorrow morning for the weekly update. 
on GTA 5 Online.